You know what song is in my mind? I just wanna rock you all night long. That's my alarm going off. Oh, I really need to take care of this mustache, bruh. I wanna rock you. I'm trying, I'm fucking trying. I've only been doing this two days. <laughs> um, and I just take a spoolie, like a regular fucking spoolie. Where's my spoolie? Where's my spoolie? I wanna rock you. Say play. What's wrong with me? What the fuck? Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. They're not supposed to be identical. Like, fuck you. Supposed to. Die, little baby hairs. Die. I wanna rock you. Good day, friends, and welcome back to this wonderful channel. <laughs> Today I just wanna chill. Like I just, I'm gonna get ready and I thought I'd film it because I just want, I just wanna, I don't know. I don't know what the purpose is, don't ask me. To spice things up a little, I thought I'd ask you guys on Instagram if you have any assumptions about me. I don't know who I think that I was or that I am. Like, I am James Charles or something. <laughs> I thought I would get so many responses. I got like four. <laughs> but let's do those. Um, I already set my brows. I do that with soap. If you don't know what that means, I'll link the video where I show you that technique right up here, I think. Or I don't know, fuck it. I'll link it. I'm gonna just quickly prime my eyes with the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And I'll be back. It's not fun to watch. Trust me. I'm gonna go in with the um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It's the one of the only um, neutral palettes that I have. I'm gonna be very, very efficient here today, okay? And make it very easy for everyone. So I'm gonna just use two colors. Excuse me for this very dirty palette. Who has time to clean their palettes? I mean, I technically do have the time since I'm unemployed right now, but I don't want, I don't have the time. Don't ask questions, okay? So I have, I'm gonna use the um, warm taupe and then, uh, oh sorry, uh, cypress umber. So let's get the fuck into the assumptions. Where's my phone? Assumptions about me. I'm excited for this. Okay, so the first assumption. People always tell you that you smell nice. No, but it's literally like the biggest, one of the biggest goals in life is for people to tell me that I smell nice. So I wear shit loads of perfume and I wait, I wait for people to tell me that I smell nice and then it doesn't happen and I'm like, oh, guys, I'm wearing this new perfume today. What do you think? And then people are like, yeah, it smell, smells nice, whatever. And then I'm like, don't cry, 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 don't cry. Oh yeah, no, um, people never tell me that I smell nice is my answer to that assumption. Cool, oh, where was I? You make a cute noise when you see a puppy on the street. <laughs> that is very much adequate. <laughs> that is very much adequate. Yes, I, not only just puppies, fuck man, all dogs, like old, young, big, small, no matter what breed, I love all dogs. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed. Um, I'm gonna go in with that um, dark brown color and start just deepening my crease. And I'm not... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that. Cool, what's the next assumption? You're always hungry, yes. The thing is, I love food, I love cooking. I just, I just love every, I eat, love eating out. There's just so many things about eating and food that I love, and there's not a lot of things that I won't eat. I don't know how to get that off. But I think it's already too late. I'm reaching the result that I want. See, it's turning like, muddy but fuck it. it it's all right i'll be happy with this i'll take it 
I'll take it. You never have to worry about money. Uh, false, <laughs> I would say. Definitely false. I think maybe that assumption comes from the fact that I'm currently not working in the States, but that is because I'm not allowed to work because I need to have a work authorization card. So I'm currently waiting for that. That will take five to seven months. That's currently why I'm harassing everyone in all social channels constantly. <laughs> So for my everyday base, I use the Anastasia Luminous Foundation and then I also mix that out with the Future Dew um, Primer from Glossier which is like this oily, highlighty thing. I'm just gonna mix those together on my hand. Okay, next assumption. You have an amazing job that gives you a lot of flex time. <clears throat> Girl, I am currently unemployed. My last job was definitely like that. I worked at H&M in Stockholm at the head office and my boss was very, um, very much for uh, freedom. Um, if you were a responsible person, you definitely could um, come in a bit later, leave a bit earlier if you needed to, blah, 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 those things. So I was, yes, I was very much blessed with that, but I did work a lot. Um, I guess that just comes with working within marketing, no? I don't know. I think so. But before that, I, I worked at an advertising agency in Michigan, um, so... I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer under my eyes, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I love this one because I'm a very dry person. I have dry skin, um, dry humor, dry hair. Um, so I, I like the finish of this because it's not, um, matte. It is very much dewy. Oh shit, she gave me the next assumption. She gave me, she gave me stuff. So my next step is, a uh, bronzer. And I use the milk, um, stick bronzer. I don't know what it's called. And then I just apply it kind of far up, because I'm not contouring, remember that, I'm bronzing. So I'm placing the bronzer wherever my the sun would hit my face. Face? Face? Face. <laughs> face in the summer. So that is kind of far up on my cheeks, on the perimeter of my forehead. And then also, just across my nose, I just like that look of like a tanned nose um, and then i'm just gonna use this um fluffy little fluffy brush from anastasia and i'm blending that out okay so i always start with my forehead because i like for that to be the least bronzy if that makes sense because i feel like it's so easy to create that helmet effect if you use too much bronzer on your forehead okay next assumption i feel like you must smell good what is this girls i like you but it's not true <laughs> I feel like you must smell good, like you've got a good perfume collection. Lies. Okay, so I don't have a good perfume collection and I'll tell you why. I only use cruelty-free products and for some reason, the product category that I find the most difficult to find cruelty-free products in is fragrance. I just find it fucking impossible. I don't know why it's yeah but what i was gonna say is i only have one fragrance and that is the glossier you and i love that scent i love that scent but i just i don't want just one scent i don't i want several perfumes and so if you have any tips on cruelty free fragrance please let me know i'm going in with a little bit more right there so to answer your question, I hope that I smell good, but I don't know that I do. <laughs> yeah, I usually actually don't want to go to the level once again because I am and I want to overdo the like lenses thing even more. How do you like my baby hair antennas? Bzz, bzz. Uh, yes, blush. I use the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I don't know, man. I just love these blushes. Um, I love the colors. I love how they stay on all day. 
uh, without budging because they they come in a liquid form but then they do dry down so I feel like they don't budge I have two things that I don't like about them one is the fucking packaging it's impossible to um, squeeze out a small amount of product it's like you you're just like applying the littlest pressure and it just goes bleh, like it pukes out like half the packaging uh, so that's annoying and then um, I do find to be quite honest that they when my skin is kind of in a bad state where I have a lot of issues going on I do find it difficult to apply the cloud paints on evenly like they get a little bit patchy and they just um, you have to work with them quite quickly because um, they lift the product up uh, when you apply them so it can get patchy real quick yep yep what highlighter and then we're going to do the last assumption highlighter i do my um luminizer from um, rms beauty this is the champagne rosé luminizer you are not that into sugar well this this must be like the wrongest assumption of all today <laughs> i am the biggest fucking sugar addict i mean i eat sugar every day i'm sorry to tell i do for all like the healthy people out there i'm sorry but it's just the truth i'm gonna go in with um an eyelash curler and the glossier lash slick the thing is i'm married to a person who is not at all even close to being like me when it comes to sugar like let's say we buy a chocolate bar we buy a chocolate bar and then we watch a movie we eat like half of it together i mean the fact that it even survives overnight that's just me restraining myself you know we put it in the kitchen like somewhere far deep into the kitchen cabinets and like a day two three four passes he doesn't think about this chocolate bar and he like comes home on a random night and he's like oh so that chocolate bar i'm like oh so what chocolate bar did you seriously expect that to survive for a couple of days in this household like i ate it for breakfast the day after what the fuck is wrong with you that's how much of a sugar addict that i am if mars is your favorite candy bar we have a serious issue because mars is literally snickers without the peanuts so unless like you're deathly allergic to peanuts or unless you're like allergic to peanuts period which is always deathly um i don't i don't understand you i haven't tried that many like american american candy bars maybe that should be a video for this channel candy by nats uh, okay are we ready with this mascara i'm done i can't do this anymore oh for the lips i'm just quickly gonna throw on i like just a pinkish nude lip with um this eye when i just want to feel pretty that's always what i do so i do the nyx soft matte lip cream in um, cabo i love these so much because they're um like a liquid lip and it dries down but it doesn't dry down super matte and like it's not crusting up your lips so i like these a lot i'm finished so i thought i was gonna maybe do some eyebrow coloring but i think i'm happy i'm starting to like the look of lighter brows and not perfect not perfectly shaped not even but this is the finished look and um, I'm gonna go take my passport photo now. Let's all pray for me. That's the pray emoji. I hope you enjoyed this bullshit talking video. I did for sure. See you next time.